Hey guys, it's James from App Spike here, and you join me as I lay into a large, ugly looking piggy in Angry Birds Epic. Yes, there's now a turn based RPG based in the Angry Birds universe. Apparently, they've thrown themselves at piggies, they've transformed into Star Wars characters, they've even driven go-karts, but now they're attacking their swiney enemies in the form of a JRPG. It's a bit weird, I'll be quite honest with you. This game has just gone live in New Zealand and Canada as a soft-launched game, which means that they, they're testing it out in smaller locations before they launch globally. As you can see, this little chili pepper has just gone bright and I'm gonna drop it onto the Angry Bird and he's gonna go mental and launch a super attack like that. I'll just finish this piggy off with a lightning strike from my mage yellow bird, who's kind of our proto Gandalf character thing. As you can see, there is still a star rating system. Uh, I've got three stars here and that allows me to choose three items from this spinny wheel. I have to give it a spin and then it will randomly select the three items. If I get fewer stars, I'll only have access to fewer of these little uh, bits and pieces. Those objects allow me to craft weapons in the game's crafting system. You can see that the red bird has a little staff there and I actually made that using the crafting system. I'm tapping at this, oh, I need to keep tapping on this little rock again and again and again. And that's giving me a bunch of stuff. So here's your overworld as you can see, there we go. Uh, I have to go and chase them down, the nasty looking piggies, as they're up here, and eventually get my eggs back, because it's an Angry Birds game, and you're always chasing after your eggs, aren't you? You can see that it's a very good looking game. Rovio have really nailed the art style uh, at this point. They've been doing this a long time, and they have an enormous budget to be able to throw at these games, and the visuals, they reflect it. It's a good looking game as you'd expect. It's slightly unusual to be playing these characters in the context of this game, however. JRPG is not the kind of genre you'd expect to see these characters, but in some ways, it's not that surprising. I was talking to Peter Wellington about this on the Pocket Gamer podcast, and in many ways, the Angry Birds are the new Sonic. They're the new Mario. They're characters which you can take out of whatever genre they started in, you know, platformers, and then put them in anything, really. I mean, Mario and Sonic, they've, they've done the Olympics, they've done sledding, they've driven go-karts, they've pretty much done everything at this point. And given that the Angry Birds franchise is so global and is so widely loved, the characters are so recognisable that you can transplant them into any genre and people will go, oh yeah, yeah, and probably give it a go. I'm just going to finish off this guy with a lightning strike. Oh no, I'm going to have to... Oh, let's try the um chilli on our... Oh, no, I can't use it on him. Oh, that's a shame. Let's try it on the red bird then and go for another one of those uber attacks. There you go. Another victory for me. Now, this is a free-to-play game. I haven't worked out yet what the free-to-play elements will be. Uh, there are different currencies available. You can see them in the top right-hand corner on the overworld screen. There's like a, a coin currency, which is gold, a blue currency, and some red heart crystals. I'm guessing that maybe the red heart crystals run out and you have to buy more in order to continue and they'll gradually top up over time, but that's just a guess at this point. I've been playing for about 20 minutes and it hasn't obviously locked me out yet. So that's, I suppose, a good sign. Here's an offer for a golden chili. Ah, here we go. Talking about free to play. Here's the IAPs. <laughs> flying at you. So if I were to hit buy now, I presume I'd be taken to a menu to buy some stuff. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to open that can of worms at this point. Let's move to the next marker and have another encounter. You can tell the difficulty level here uh, on the left hand side and what I could possibly win. Three bits of wood. Hooray for three bits of wood, I guess. Um, and that gives you the reasons to do battle beyond just saving your offspring. Now what I'm doing is I'm dragging these perks uh, from bird to bird. So the red bird is powering up the yellow bird with a defensive action and the yellow bird is going to power up the red bird with this electricity defense. So if a piggy happens to hit the red bird, he gets damage back. You just saw it there. Whereas the uh, yellow bird has a more kind of standard buff where he just takes a little bit less damage. This guy has got a uh, an image flashing above his head which tells me exactly when he's going to attack the yellow bird. It's going to be pretty soon. So that gives you a chance, if you need to, to either try and take him out first, as I'm going to try to do, or activate a buff to lower the damage. I've already activated both the buffs, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, hello. I don't know what happened there. A whole bunch of arrows appeared over his head. 
He's changed his target, that's what's happened, so now all of the piggies are attacking the red bird, which seems a little unfair to me, I'm just saying. So it appears the uh, yellow bird has lost his defense now. I guess it wears off after a couple of rounds. So I'm going to attack everybody, as before, frazzle. And uh, I'm going to drag the red bird down to reactivate his buff, just in case they all change target again. Oh, am I going to die for the first time? I am! The red bird has fallen! It is a crisis. Let's uh, finish this guy off. If I can, that is. Oh, let's use the chili on him. He calls down the lightning Thor style. Wow, look at that. Kicking that piggy's ass. I am impressed. Now let's finish this guy off if I possibly can. And then we can see whether the red bird comes back to life or whether I have to pay to resurrect him. I've won the battle. Not full stars this time for obvious reasons. Lost the red bird. Gained two bits of gear which I can then turn into weaponry in the game's crafting system. Now let's see if my bird lives. I can now use the magic cauldron. I have literally no idea what that is. Let's go and find out. There is an overworld screen, which you saw there, the map screen, but here is my kind of home base. I live on the beach. Uh, I've got a tap here, and this will take me to the shop, presumably. Right, so I can get a magic cauldron for free, which helps me brew potions, which is handy. All the rest of them are going to cost coin. As you can see, 150 silver coin, 100, 225. I've only earned 35 at the moment, though. So mm, that's not going to be within my price range. Here's my cauldron, though which lets me brew up some potions. I can make a banana juice rank. I don't really know what that is. Apparently I've got to do it now though. Those dice rolls determine how powerful the effect of each perk will be. I had to roll something very similar when I made my little sword stick weapon that the red bird uses. It is interesting to see dice rolls being used in these games because you never know what algorithm it is that's generating it. And there's a message system there as well. If there are friends active, perhaps, you know, I can share messages with them. I don't really know. There aren't that many people playing this at the moment. Obviously, not as many as there will be because it's only available in a couple of territories. And it's only been out for like 24 hours or so. Um, let's jump to this location here. Cobalt Pig Castle. This should be... I presume, a climactic fight. Yes, indeed, look at this. Right, it's on. Luckily, the birds have resurrected, so my red bird is back in action. I'm going to activate both my perks as my first move. Go straight on the defensive. And then lay into these piggy buggers immediately. Bam and bam. Took him out immediately. Now, are we going to move on to the next phase? We are. We're going to gradually climb the tower. Looks like there's four more to go. Four pigs this time. I've got a potion I can use in the top right-hand corner. That's good to know. Let me activate the defense on this yellow bird. And then use the yellow bird to attack. You can only do one action per turn. Something I'm having to readjust in my head because I've been playing South Park the Stick of Truth. And it lets you use potions and then attack. Wow, I've really had my red bird quite badly damaged this time. Now, I've just opened up this juice drink, and I'm going to use it on the red bird. Because he's taken a right kicking, and now he's back to full health again. Result. Let me power charge the red bird. And then, attack. As you've gathered, it's very simple to play. In terms of the controls, you're just dragging the birds towards the pigs like that. It's, you know, dead simple stuff. It's very well presented. It's very smooth. I haven't encountered any stutters or judders or anything, which is good for a soft launched game. This is essentially kind of, you know, almost pre-release, if you like. Can't use the chili pepper yet, although I thought I could. Hopefully it'll run over to my next level so I can attack them here. Yeah, good. Ooh, this big pig. 
he looks dangerous. Right. Let me have a look at my potions. I've got another banana juice drink. I'm going to use that on the yellow bird because he looks a bit knackered. And then I'm going to activate this guy's power. And then I'm going to use the chili to activate a super attack, which has knocked off half of his health. That's good to know. Now in two more turns, he's going to attack my yellow bird. That's what that little indicator is telling me. So I'm going to activate the yellow bird's defenses in order to take a little bit of that damage off because he's he is going to get damaged there's nothing i can do about it not this time but the next time in the meantime i just have to keep laying into him here we go oh he's gone to the red bird this time he switched target that is completely cheating only got one banana juice drink left and then that's going to be it. That red bird is going to be well dead. However, we've taken out the big boss piggy here. Although well, there's still two more levels to go. Who have we got next? A huge band. And this guy. If I tap on the piggy, I can see what his characteristics are. He can deal a firm slap, a charge command. And... Apparently, he has incompetent minions, which is probably a good thing. For me, anyway. I'm going to activate the defenses on my red bird, because he looks a little bit knackered, and then give him the chance to attack this guy. You see, the piggy got knocked out then by attacking the red bird, because he took a hit. Uh, it tells me to use the potions, but... Ah, here we go. I can take another one of those banana drinks, but it's going to cost me 10 gold pieces, and I only have 18. That's interesting. I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. And I'm also going to use the chili on the yellow guy, so hopefully he's going to do another one of them Thor-style multi-attacks. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Now it's the red bird's turn. Down he goes. Unfortunately, one round to go, but if the red bird dies here, he dies for good. And it's game over. Oh god, they've got their own flying mage who has apparently performed a buff on that guy, making him a little bit bigger. This is alarming. Alright, here we go. It's on. Let's activate the defensive capabilities on the yellow bird. And then send the yellow bird into battle. Wow, that did barely any damage. Oh, this isn't good at all. See, it's opened it up, but I can't afford it. I cannot get more unless I pay money. Which is obviously how they get you. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to use it anyway. I've literally no idea what that did. I think it increased the amount of stars I get afterwards. Oh well. Um, let me activate the buff on him. And then... Use him once again to attack. Unfortunately, I think he's going to die now. And there it is, immediately knocked out. Oof. Oh no, and now these bombs are going to come in and blow up the yellow bird. This bodes very ill indeed. Hopefully he can survive long enough to get the chili powered up. Oh, he's not going to survive long enough. A couple more hits and this guy's down. Oh dear. I think we're on our way out, guys. I can't activate any more defensives. And that's it. Dead and done for. Oh, I can revive the birds, but it cost me 15 gold. I don't have it. Well, there you have it. That's the limit of the free-to-play formula. My battle's been lost, and I'm probably going to have to wait for a bit. At which point I will end this little walkthrough. Uh, it'll be out globally in the coming weeks, but you can only get it at the moment in Australia, I think, no, maybe New Zealand and Canada are the areas. Thank you for watching, and we shall take another run at this game a little later. Bye-bye. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.